Good afternoon and welcome to this edition of Lunchtime Poetry. I'm Lori and I'm a librarian at Manlius Library and every day at noon it will be my absolute pleasure to read to you some of my favorite poetry. Today is Saturday and Saturday is made for adventures. So today I'm going to share with you some poetry that I purchased in Donegal, Ireland a few years ago. It's from a book called Poetry by Eamon Monaghan. The first one I'm going to read to you is called The Bog Woods. We were the mighty forests of old Erin. Dense and tall we stood from shore to shore. The noble elk once rested neath our branches. We saw the wild wolves and fearless boar. We knew the land of Erin long ere man did, through misty ages still unknown, untold. But long ago we died in quiet splendor. And now we rest beneath the bogland mold. We were the stately oaks and pines and yew trees where sweetly trilled the birds eons ago. We saw the megaliths raised on the hillsides. We heard the dirges from the cork cairns flow. The druids chanted loudly in our green groves. The timid deer found shelter neath our breast. Twas long ago we fell in ancient Erin. And now beneath the bogland brown we rest. Turf cutter, treat our ancient limbs right gently, when once again we see the light of day. For long we've lain beneath the moss and bog vine, and o'er us long the kenavanes did sway. Strange the nights we now see in new Erin. Five thousand years have changed the isle we knew, and we have slept content within its bosom beneath the quiet lands where once we grew. That's the Bogwoods. The next one I'm going to read is kind of a spring poem. It's called The Little Green Cross of St. Bridget. When we weave the green cross of St. Bridget to protect us from evil and care, we remember a saintly young maiden who herded in County Kildare. She has been a bright light through dark ages, loved in each humble cabin and home. And her emblem is known through the wide world where the Irish do roam. With a rich druid chieftain a father, yet a humble lifestyle she preferred to look after the flocks in the meadows and the sick and the poor too, she cared. She told them of him who had suffered on Cavalry's Hill far away by weaving a cross of green rushes she taught them to know and to pray. O oh, holy St. Bridget, protect us. Let your cross keep us safe from all woe. May your mantle bright shelter us ever, as out on life's highway we go. Through centuries long we have loved you, through oppression and famine and tears, and we'll make your green cross with devotion and revere you through all coming years. And I'm going to read one more today. It's called Brigham's Alley. There's a wedding in the alley and they're celebrating there. The fisher folk make merry and their laughter fills the air. They've laid down their doors together and a dancing board's complete. And soon around the diamond rings the sound of dancing feet. Their gaiety and their laughter now fills the evening air. There's a wedding in the alley and they're celebrating there. A quaint old cul-de-sac it was just off the Diamond Bray, where lived eight fishing families who reaped out in the bay. And the fishwives with their baskets and aprons white and neat came out from Brigham's Alley to their seats beside the street. T'was Donegal's fish market, and all the town did know, if you wanted cod or herring to the alley, you must go. But that all happened long ago, and time keeps, keeps marching on. The fisher folk are in the clay and Brigham Alley's gone. No fiddler's tune, no dancing feet, no turf smoke rising high. Just a quiet place of memories, of ways and days gone by. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Lunchtime Poetry. We'll see you again tomorrow at noon.